Now the purpose of this experiment is to hit the old trusty one inch crowbar with a standard hollow molded type layout, a carbon one but just thin, and then the standard similar layout but with an F230 core. We've got both carbon and a glass layout, two different wings, and I'll be hitting them onto here just to compare difference. Pictures speak a thousand words. Now this one, just a single four ounce glass layup, uh, two ounce, four ounce, and then F230. And this one, carbon skin, 200 gram twill weave, uh, with a decent spar in it, um, and just a thin, thin layup. Now just do the uh, light glass one first. You can see, there's nothing along the leading edge here, and I'll try to hit in this bit here. Just do a normal life tap, like that. And you can see a little tiny dint there. Now give it a big one. Now it's got a bit of a bit of a dent in the D-lam there, but with a screwdriver, you'd pull that back out, and it'd be good as gold. Integrity of the wing, still there. Now for the uh, light carbon one. It's pretty hard to simulate a normal uh, light light plane crash, but we'll we'll do our best. So I guess that's just like a, a light crash. So you can see there, it's just actually broken just where the seam hasn't been sanded yet. That's just the seam cracking off. So anyway, we'll um, simulate a big one, eh? And there you go. It's a little shark bite out of the leading edge. It's actually still all attached around it. If I can pull that off, that's just the outside layer of glass. You can see there, I don't know whether you can see that, but it's, you can see the very thin glass there and a bit of carbon underneath. But to me, that's a pretty good high speed crash, but not much result. Now do the other side, I'll give it a real good one. There you go. I blew the aileron off. And that's a hit underneath, that's where I hit it. And that's all it done, fully intact. No bend there. Hollow moulded's don't do that. Now for the purpose of this experiment, I've got a, a three metre centre wind panel, uh, all carbon, uh, light sort of layup. It's off a Traji, uh, which went to a demise. Leading edge is still all, all good. Um, it has got a I split here, which is a bit of a D-lam there, but this side is good. So, uh, we'll give that a bit of a crack, see what happens. And there you go. That's what happens. Well right then. I guess you'd call that stuffed. So that, compared to that, chalk and cheese for a DS plane. So conclusion, hollow moulded, shatters to pieces, F230 solid core, will dent the leading edge, little bit of a compression zone and a shark bite, but in my opinion, clean it out with a screwdriver quickly on the slope, put a bit of tape over it, fold it over to give the shape of the leading edge, and just throw her out and keep flying. So at the end of the day, hollow is going to shatter, the F230, you're going to get a bit of a ding, repair it on the slope and just keep flying all day. You won't wreck the integrity of the wing. I have crashed one at 140, 150 odd miles an hour, perfectly intact. AVB crashed his vertically straight down from, from high up on the slope uh, and blew the ailerons off, the whole wing was intact. So the ongoing success with this product that we've been playing around with, it's only gonna get better. 
I can see in four or five years' time, this is how 90% of DS planes are going to be built. See ya. Peace out.